Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Real Life Entrepreneur Podcast. It's your boy, Al. Uh, tonight, I'm here with some of the most amazing people I know. Uh, we're going to be able to drop some jewels on you, but you know how this goes. It's a conversation. It could go left, right, up, down, but at the end of the night, anyway, our job is to convince you to become an entrepreneur or to stick to your nine to five and stick to your corporate job. So tonight I have with me, I have Ingrid on my left, I have Amir on my right, and instead of me edifying these beautiful people and telling you all their credentials and everything that they got going on, I actually want them to do that. So we're gonna start with Amir. Amir, tell our audience exactly what is it you do, introduce them to yourself, and just tell us a little bit about you. Um, and yeah. All right, well, I'm from New York, Washington, D.C. Okay. Uh, I've been down here for about 11 years in Florida. Um, okay. You know, I had a little bit of a twisted background, which I had to change up, and I did that when I came down here. Started working for somebody, and I realized that I got tired of making them rich, you know? <laughs> and, and no, seriously, you know, I got tired of making them rich, and I wanted to do something for myself, and I wanted to go ahead and, uh, you know, monopolize on what I wanted to do in my life and make a difference and, uh, you know, make a real change for my life. Everybody's on a 9 to 5, you know, they got a schedule. I didn't want a schedule. I'm not a schedule guy. I'm not a 9 to 5 guy. So at the end of the day, I did my own thing, you know? Okay. God bless. I've, I've been doing great ever since. No, that's that's lovely. And on my left, I have Ingrid. And Ingrid, I want you to do the same thing. I want you to tell us a little bit about you and what it is that you do. And then we'll jump into the rest. All right. My name is Ingrid Morales. So I've been in the real estate game for probably about almost 10 years now. I started out in real estate because I had a career change and um, I wanted to help others. Uh, my career was um, very, very tough at the beginning, but Real estate wasn't, um, I would say, very strong for me. My inner circle was very, very weak, so I had to find a way to make myself into this industry. And the, one of the great things that I do and I love to do is, before I got into real estate, I was in the music, so networking events was key for me to be able to build um, my network, to influence, to empower, to help others grow their business. So. I started out, I, I have to honestly say, it's, it's been, it was really tough in the beginning, but title, um, title of real estate is what happened. We, we pulling out here. No, because you know, while we'll you're talking, I'm trying to get her to get my phone. What's up? So I, like, it's the entrepreneur's life. The sign. Right, okay, right, right. So anyways, you guys. I you um, time to give me the mic already. Give me the mic. <laughs> <laughs> so um, to be honest with you, when I first got into real estate, it was really, really, really difficult because my inner circle wasn't strong. So. Um, I connected with a mentor. Um, being surrounded by people in the industry that can influence you, to help you, to mentor, to navigate you, to, to connect you with the right people in the industry is the most empowering thing, oh, empowering wait, wait, wait. thing Ingrid, ever. Ingrid, Ingrid, hold on, hold on. Come Go on. ahead. So you already jumping into it. Yes. I'm and we don't want you to jump into it okay, so fast, exactly. right? Okay, so. Um, we want to make this more of a conversation and, and we want to do it in parts, right? Because okay. at the end of the day, what I want to do is I want people to be comfortable with you and I know how you are. It's a brain full of knowledge. You ready to spit shit out, and it's, they're gonna get everything all in one go. And I, we don't want that tonight. We're just gonna talk a little bit, right? right. Um, so let's start with Amir really okay. quick, um, since you just finished your intro. Now, Amir, specifically, tell us about what it is that you actually do to earn money, earn a living, get the checks, get the bag. What do you do? Well, I do whatever it takes. Okay. So uh, with that being said, you know, I got my hands on a lot of things. I'm, I'm an opportunist. So, you know, I come out to these events and I hook up with my friends. They bring me out here. And if I meet people and, you know, I get into things that I feel that we're going to be able to monopolize on and we're going to be able to cash in on, then I'm great for that, you know. But nice. my main source of income is mainly uh, right now. I, I've been in building and, and, and construction my entire life. Okay. Uh my dad had me digging holes on Saturday morning at 6 a.m. in the okay. heat, uh, and you know, at at eight nine years old, right. and ever since then I just watched him build things, and I got an inspiration for architectural, you know, just designs like buildings, like you know, all these buildings around right. us, you know, like this building right here, Icon's a gorgeous Ooh. building, and I hope one day I'm going to build something like that. Yeah. Uh, I kind of inspired to go ahead and build one of the largest casinos in Las Vegas. I don't know oh, if that's nice. ever going to happen, but that's definitely on my, it definitely on my list of things to, it, to happen. You know, if it yeah, happens, sure. great. Uh, it's really all about who you know. It's not about what you know. But um, at the end of the day, uh, you know, construction has just always been something that made me money. Right. You know, even if I quit my job at a dealership, I've always been, been in sales and everything like that. And, you know, I go ahead and quit my job. What did I fall back on? I always had something where I could go paint something or build something. Nice, or, you know what I mean? Nice. Or do something for somebody where I got some cash in my hand. Okay. So um, with that being said, uh, 
you know, I was in the title business. Yeah. You know, I was working with Ingrid. I was working with a bunch of other people, and okay. I got tired of just working for everybody. Right. You know, right. um, I was in sales. I had literally, I had no life. I was I was working at a dealership 60, 70 hours a week. You know, the more cars I sold, the more they wanted me there. Right. You know, I couldn't right. even have a lunch break. You know what I mean? Yeah. So one day I just walked in. I told everybody to go screw themselves. Oh, wow. And uh, literally. Okay. That's exactly okay. what I did. And sometimes that's what it takes to really venture out on your own. You really have to get rid of everything that's really going on and then venture off. Somebody once there. told me, if you don't jump off the cliff, you never know if you can fly. There you go. Right? There you go. So I jumped off that cliff, and it was hard for me. And don't get it twisted. I went from six figures, and I went down to making less than $20,000 a year. I literally had no money in my pocket. My car was getting repoed. Uh, you know, now I'm in a position 10 years later where I'm living in a penthouse right down here in Las Olas. And Beautiful. I took the whole summer off and, you know, I just got my money in different places. You know, I was smart about it. I put everything aside. I put all my money together. I stopped buying the shoes. I stopped buying this. I stopped buying that. I stopped That's taking people great. out for drinks. That right. is not true. He uh, just bought shoes all Stop it. <laughs> I saw him. Okay. All right. I bought, I bought them shoes. I saw the shoes. I had to buy them shoes. <laughs> But I'm talking about 10 years ago. You know <laughs> right, what I mean? Right, right, right. Now, I mean, no, he's talking about now he's able to do that. Yeah. So part of the sacrifice 10 years ago was, hey, I'm going to stack my bread. I'm going right. to save my money. I'm not going to be, right. you know, out drinking, do all these crazy things. Yeah. I'm stacking my money. And now 10 years later, the, the fruits of his labor and part of that benefit is, hey, I see those shoes. He got them. I want them. I literally I literally went from making ten to 15000 a month in a, in a car sales business. Tell, tell everybody to go screw themselves. To literally make less than twenty thousand, and listen, I, I ate some shit for two years, but at the end of the day, it was all worth it, man. You gotta, you gotta go ahead and make some sacrifices, and that's what I did for sure. I love it. So Ingrid, I want to turn this a little bit over to you, right? Uh, so what I know about Ingrid is you're in the title world, right? You did some title work for me and my clients before. Um, you're a beast at title, and what I love about you now is. You know, you're kind of taking on that role of getting into your own space and doing your, your own thing and branding Ingrid, right? Mm -hmm. And what I want to do is I want to ask you about that process. What is the process like going through working for a company and now you're getting into branding Ingrid? What does that feel like? And tell us a little bit about that. What, what did you do to take care of that branding portion of it? Um, I definitely think it was a hard process because I think that everybody goes through a lot of different things in life and fear is the main thing that I think stops people from moving forward when you're being comfortable with certain things. Um, obviously, me being a mother of four beautiful children, being married for 20 years, I was always comfortable. So it was time for me to step out of that zone. And then when I found out who I am right. and I was trying to figure out what my name was or what, what my brand was, was, I wanted to be like brand something like Kelly Williams or Remax. Well, I, at the end of the day, I am. Right. I am Ingrid Morales. There was no way of me getting around that. So that's when I formed title and real estate concierge services. Right. And that's where I'm able to add value. And that comes from a humble place being honest to understanding and remembering where I came from in the industry. Remember being that novice agent and not having any mentors around me, not yeah. knowing where to go. So what happened is title. Maylene right. Montiago, I have to say, and I will yeah. always remember her name because if it wasn't for her, I would not be where I'm at today. She taught me to how to add value in this title industry. Okay. To, to gain the business, to earn the business. Not like, hey, give me a file. So right. what I do with my services is obviously what you see here today in South Florida at Salt 7 is a part of my concierge service is networking, social networking, okay. private networking, private profiling. Right. So I do that as well as generate leads, um, buyer leads, seller leads, educating and training and also recruiting okay. um, this is an event where you can come where you'll meet a tons of real estate professionals and then you'll also meet alternative you know business right. partners that come in and that want to connect so my thing obviously target audiences the agents and the lenders so how do I attract them to come here by bringing them more opportunity nice. so if you're ever invited to one of my personal events we're obviously going to be doing business with each other if you're not doing business with me you'll be doing business with other people people within my inner right. circle and I want I also want to reach out to everybody that's doing the same thing that I'm doing in in this industry okay this is an open platform right. there is no judging here um, if you are in an attorney or in title in real estate whatever I open this platform I open up Ingrid Morales real estate concierge for you to come and join me at these events to know that how I am because there's enough business 
to go around. And all right. I want to do is, honestly, I feel more on the, the female side of things because mm -hmm. I've noticed a lot of females here at my event that, that do the same thing. But I welcome them with open arms. Right. Like, mi casa, tu casa. You know what I okay. mean? Like, because you never know. I may be on the other side of the transaction. I need, may need you to close my deal. Right. So I actually noticed that. So you actually ventured off. You know, obviously we started talking about. Right. So I got you because I you told got you tonight me. if I feel like yo you're going right. in a different direction, I was gonna pull you back. <laughs> and you're giving out so much info that I want to slow it down a little bit. It's right. all good. You started out. We started talking about title, right? Mm -hmm. And I think we're actually. I want you to come back because I want to talk specifically about title and you know going over their HUD docs and right. the importance of title and all that good mm -hmm. stuff. But tonight is your <laughs> event right so let's talk a little bit about the event okay let's talk a little bit about the importance of networking but before you answer that question i actually want amir to answer this question what do you, when you go out and you network what do you get out of networking what, what do you look for what, what, what is your goal when networking here in south florida it's a little difficult and i got to give it to ingrid she throws a great event we had a great night tonight i met a lot of uh you know, successful entrepreneurs. I met a Absolutely. lot of people that work nine to five, you know, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, everybody has their position in life, you know. Um, there's some people that are comfortable with their nine to five, you know, and there's some people that are entrepreneurs that are like us that come out here and they want to talk to people, they want to mingle with people, and they want to get to know each other, and they want to work with each other, right? So I always tell people to get out of your comfort zone. And this is definitely one of those places that you're going to get out of your comfort zone because there's all different levels of people over here, mm -hmm. right? For sure, for sure. So with that being said, um, she threw a great event. And uh, out here, it's just like it's one of those things where I come here personally. I, I come here to mingle. Right, you know, for sure. At this point in time in my life, I don't, I don't really need anybody. You came here to right. support. And, and just support. <laughs> no, I was getting there. I was he's getting, getting there. there. He's getting there. I was he's getting, getting there. there. Uh, I was going to give you a nice little finale. You just ruined it. Ah. I'm going to get you. Um, right. You know, I come out here to support my friend. Yeah. You know, uh, she's a beautiful woman. And she's inspiring in her own way, to me at least. You know, she does her thing. She's very, you know, hardcore about what her passion and her love about, you know, the business. But um, I don't really come out here looking for anything specific. Okay. I come out here just very nonchalant. I talk to people. I introduce myself. I don't even carry a business card. Anymore. Right. You know, um, at the end of the day, if I meet people and we click, whether they're friends or business acquaintances, nice. you know, I hold them on that level. Okay, I love it. I so love it. Uh, with that being said, you know, we had a great event tonight. Yeah. I met a lot of people tonight. You know, I met some new friends. Yeah. yeah. You know? For sure. For sure. And I met some business acquaintances. Absolutely. Absolutely. Too, right? What? My man. You already know. Yep. You already know. Got it. So, and I love exactly what he says, right? Um, his purpose for networking is it doesn't always necessarily need to be you're looking for a business it's opportunity. It's not always business. You can always find a, you know, a new friend. You can find an acquaintance. Right. You, can, you can find so many different things by networking, right. but you have to get out of the house, right? right. Ingrid, now I want to touch on a little bit because I want you to talk about networking. We're still on this, right? Right. It's you important. threw this event tonight, mm -hmm. right? And you get all these people to come together. Tell us a little bit about the process of putting it together and the reason why you do these events. First of all, it's something that I love to do and it's yeah. just my niche. Nice. I love connecting opportunities and um, creating a great environment for people to come together to build confidence, build relationships. Yep. And if you do want to sell that $10 million house, I can guarantee you, you that you need to come to this events or right. come sit and talk to people because no one wants to put that money in your hand without no. having a relationship for sure so for sure. everything in real estate has to do with relationships i have and I, I love that you say i'm gonna cut you off but i'm gonna give it right back but to your point mm -hmm. i have never done business with an investor that i didn't have a relationship with it and it, it didn't matter if the the relationship was a day old or a year old or 10 years old the fact that we sit we talk our goals our ideals are the same and we're after the same right. thing and my product and what he wants to do with his money aligns that's really how it is and it's really all about the relationship it's the so, energy so and I it's a vibe it, it is, is all that. it is sure. and if the energy is and vibe yeah, doesn't no, for sure. For sure. i'm not gonna allow you to list my property for 15 million dollars i'm gonna list it with ingrid because i like her personality right. i like what she brings to the table oh you know what her daughter cheers my daughter cheers right you right. know certain things like that so yeah. yeah so when you're definitely meeting people in the industry and in real estate always pick out something or notice something special about not just about their business about something compliment oh i love your shoes i love right, your styles right, right. oh uh, you know what you're uh, an amazing always compliment Listen, me i know you don't mean it yeah, but, uh, no, but i take no. it anyway 
this this guy's got keys to tall buildings. Okay, so kind of network with him. So it, it's about that. People want to know, like, bro, what's your favorite color, or how right. many kids, or yeah. something personal. It's not all about. <clears throat> Straight you know, right. um, I am very social. I'm a, I'm a butterfly. I'm a connector. I'm an influencer. And I always remember where I come, and that's where my place is. Right. I'd rather go off after somebody that's novice or new right. or needs help okay. to build a relationship to know that psh, they're fire versus right. me going after a top producer that I'm going to spend an, a year trying to build a relationship just to get that one file. Right. right. So for right. me... So you I'm like rather, building, you like building. Oh, like I love my babies. Okay. I love my babies. And guess what? We all know, I mean, for me as a mother, we all know that our babies eventually leave, right? Right. So you got to educate, you got to train, you got to mold. You got to make them be the best that they can be in this industry. Okay. So at the end of the day, they're going to come back and they're going to remember me. And that's what I'm here for. Yeah. That is that. Yeah. That's oh, I do fun. have, I look, I have a little, Miss Victoria Morales, she's not here, but yeah. that's a little mini me. She's a little mini me and me and me. Nice, nice. But anybody that sure. I bring, okay. please, um, bring it. And, and so, like, Ingrid just dropped a lot of jewels. Uh, Amir, you dropped some jewels as well. Uh, and, and what I'd like to do is, so on this podcast and this episode tonight, it really wasn't one of our longer episodes, right? Because we had to kind of get so many people in. And I feel like we have more than enough to get you Are the time that you right need. Now? No, we can still go. Can I say it's, one thing, Absolutely, it's you can. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, First of all, you say? definitely can't say it without the mic. So that, <laughs> that's not even going to work. Okay. So okay. let's my run bad. them the mic, bad. okay? So that's the first thing, right? Uh, the next thing is, so I always do two things on these podcasts, right? One of those things I do is I always have you guys give them a book, uh, a book recommendation. So a that's book? one thing you got to think about. Yeah, like one book. Oh, like if you had to recommend one book. It then that but you don't have to do that oh, now I got it. I, I got y'all it. both got it all right uh, hopefully it's not the same book by the way oh i know okay um can i blurt it out already i hope not no not yet not yet not yet, not yet, not yet. Don't, don't do it not yet. well this is what i actually want you to do so at this point in the podcast i actually like to give people the opportunity to really get anything out that they want to get out so i know you had some stuff and you're like yo i'm ready to rock yo the mic is yours my brother let's do all it. right so I'm gonna go ahead and break down our entrepreneurship <laughs> in, in, in just in in a couple minutes yes, for please. you, right? If you're working a nine to five and you're sick of your boss telling you that you gotta come back for lunch early, if you're sick of your boss telling you that you know you can't have that holiday off or you can't have your girlfriend's birthday off or you can't have your son or daughter's birthday off, Reach. then you know what? At the end of the day, you gotta sit down and you gotta make a sacrifice. I know a lot of people got kids. I don't have no kids. I don't have no wife. But at the end of the day, I know a lot of people got kids, wife, this, that, blah, blah, blah. But you know what? No matter what your situation, if you don't jump off of the mountain. And, and open up your wings. You never know if you can fly. There's a saying that really hit me, and this is what it says. It says, my boss arrived at work in a brand-new Lamborghini. I said, wow, that's an amazing car. He replied, if you work hard, put all your hours in, and strive for excellence, I'll get another one next year. That should tell you a lot, right? So why am I going to work my ass off, right, for somebody else to live a better life than me? No, so that was though. I actually want you to repeat that though. All right. Okay, like, so, try, okay. try to figure out how, how you're going to. All right. So yeah, it so says yeah. this. It so. says, My boss arrived at work in a brand new Lamborghini. I said, Wow, that's an amazing car, right? He said, If you work hard enough, put all your hours in and strive for excellence, I'll buy another one next year. What does that tell you? Why do I got to work my ass off day and night, nine to five? And, you know, lose memories and lose time with my family, right? And not be able to take off for my daughter's birthday. I don't have no kids, by the way. Ladies, you know, I'm single. I ain't got no kids. Ah. But my point is, we're going to give you his connection. Why, so you know how to get him. why do I need to go ahead and sacrifice my time for somebody else to live a better life than I do? That shit hit me so different. Like, I literally sat there and I looked at this meme on Facebook. And I let I looked at it for thirty minutes straight. Wow. You know? Okay. And ever since then I've always been a guy that said you better get out your comfort zone because you know what? You constantly stay in your comfort zone, you ain't getting nowhere. I met a guy at Dor- Denny's, right? God bless his soul, right? The guy's working behind a grill for twenty five years and he's happy. Not me. I can't do it. Right. You know? Right. Right. There's a lot more things I want to accomplish than sitting behind sure. the ground. I ain't got no problem with him. If that's what he wants right, to do, right. by all means, God bless him. Yeah. Not me and how I'm going to piggyback on that is that everything isn't for everyone. That's yeah. why you have rich people. 
you got poor people and you got middle class folks right everyone doesn't want the same thing yeah so what i aspire to if i say hey i'm trying to make billions out here there's another guy out here just just wants to make 50 grand and go on a, a four-week vacation a year and just be with his there's kid, risk takers kid. and there's not there's risk takers there you go i put right. about 80 percent of my savings into cryptocurrency and thank nice. god i did i nice. literally have Nice. You know, I figured if I lost everything, I'd go back to where I started, and right. listen, I could do it all over do again. Do it all over again. But you know what? It was a risk I had to take. Okay. Oh, nice, nice. Remind me to talk to you about some crypto Absolutely. stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. So, Ingrid, I want. So, you got your last word, and you might have another one before we go, but it's cool. I love that. All right, good. So now, Ingrid, this is your opportunity, right? My opportunity. Where this is kind of like your monologue. My you, monologue. You have opportunity, time, and space to talk to an audience about any single thing that you want to so let's say millions of people listen to this podcast right now what do you want to tell these people that's a lot that's a lot baby that's a lot that's what i do he's trying to get deep with me pressure bus pipes you know how this works come on everything comes from experience and i honestly have to say that i didn't learn a a lot in life until i experienced what i needed to experience and go through it and realize i was in a place where um, it was time to serve. Okay. Um, nice. I'm gonna have to bring this up, and this going. Be bring it up. Up. I'm gonna tell you what. Um, I was in San Diego the other day, and I ran into a Reiki master. I'm very spiritual, and they told me um, my two blessings were my father and my daughter. Okay. And if you know anything about me, my daughter, um, her name is Isabella. She's got stage four cancer, sarcoma. And he told me that this child was my blessing, and I realized at the age of 23 years old that she wasn't the blessing for me. I wouldn't be who I am today. Oh my today. goodness, that's 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 If crazy. it wasn't for her, she makes me stronger, she makes me drive. Right. She makes me be the better person that I am. She sure, unlocks sure. everything that I have. She's my strength. So first and foremost, you know, I want to say, you know, you know, thank you to my father and thank you to my daughter. I wouldn't be here and that is what makes me who I am today. Yeah. Life is not easy. How I was when I was in my 20s. I'm actually 46. Um, how I was when I was 20s and my 30s. And it's not how I am now. Right. And right, I know I'm sure. here for a reason, for a purpose. And that's why I came up with I am. I am Ingrid Morales. Okay. And I'm here for a reason, reason, for a purpose. And that purpose is to help others. And that's right. how I generate Absolutely. the business that I'm in. You know, I don't care if it's, yes. if it's real estate. Or if it's like you want to call me, you want to get a jet, you want to go to a boat, you want to get a yacht. You well, you are the ultimate like, connector. That's for sure. I'm going to connect the opportunity yeah. because I'm an entrepreneur. That's yeah. that's what I do. And that's in real estate. There's more things than just buying and selling. There's an influence. There is a connection. You may have a client, like I said, it is. You may have a client that you want to sell that ten million dollar mansion to. So who do you got to call for a yacht? You gotta, you gotta, I'm gonna make sure right. I have it. Facts. Listen, Facts. I have a really good friend of mine from up north, Avante Showers, a big client yeah. of mine. I've been trying to entertain now for a while. He came down here. I even did him a sorority cake. Ah. I'm gonna tell you what. If I have to bust <laughs> out, they told me I guess uh, it was in COVID. Publix girl got COVID, couldn't go. I'm, psh, I got you. But nice. Okay. You know how it is with sororities yeah, and stuff sure. like Alpha, whatever, whatever, Mega, Mega, whatever, Candy Cane. I, I just made that special, you know, okay. because I want them to remember who you I am. You made the cake? I had somebody make okay, it, okay, but trust like, oh, me, what? they were trying to go to Publix, but I was like, no, 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 I got this. But it was the experience that they have yeah. working with me, knowing that I had their back, not even if it's just with the smallest little touch of things. You understand? So is that where the concierge part of it came from? Oh, I get it. I, I get it. Yes. Yeah. yeah I'm not saying say I'm going to sit in here and make cakes for you. Right. But, but if you got me like, you know, I'm running into trouble or you need to meet me at that corner. Psh, I got you. Right. No, you no, know I how. Love, I love it. For sure. That's for sure. it. So that's the, the concierge is um, how I can add value. Yeah. How I can help you grow your business and return I'm going to earn your title business. I love it. Not I even that. It. I like to have my nights and weekends off. This is why I like to stay in the title lane. That's why I like to have um, people in real estate that yeah. I can um, give the deals to so they can go spin their wheels and nights and the weekends right. and go through this crazy ass market. Uh, I would not want to be a buyer in this market. Oh, stop it. All right, really. But I love title. So, Ingrid, you know, you know I'm good to be cutting you off all the time, uh, right? Uh, no, 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 hey, no, no. you about you to tell people they don't the want to jump in a market. You know, uh. I'm going to tell you about title. No, no matter what. No, because guess what we have? 
another, so another tonight, show. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So tonight isn't the the long night, right? Right. We, we got to get a couple more people on here. Jumping in real quick. Oh. You can, well, you have one more time because we're still gonna talk okay, about the book. I know, but what I want to touch. Oh, you want to touch on that? All right, go ahead and touch on what she, she got to say. That she's a mother. She's this. She's that. And you know, a lot of you guys can relate to that too. You know, a lot of you guys got kids. You're married. You know, you're spending dollar for dollar on groceries, bills, this, like that. The first thing that comes to your mouth, mouth to your mind is, where am I gonna get the money? to go ahead and start investing or to do this or start my own business or whatnot. You know what? It just takes a little bit. It doesn't even take a lot. Right now, you can go start an Amazon business for about $2,500 to $5,000. I know people that are making between five to ten grand a month just doing that. I'm wow. going to get into it, too. I haven't nice. done it yet. You know, there's a lot of things that you can do. So, you know, as far as excuses and whatnot, you know, those aren't, those aren't in my vocabulary. Right. One thing that I read one time was, why doesn't Lamborghini make commercials? Lamborghini doesn't make commercials because the people that are buying Lamborghinis ain't sitting around and watching TV. So with that nice. being said, you got to utilize your time a thousand percent. You know what I mean? Whatever it is that you're doing, there's always a way, especially nowadays with the Internet and everything. I mean, just look at, the, look at the stuff that people are buying. Right, you know, yeah. I see people buying the dumbest shit. Excuse my language. Am I? Right. No, you're right. The dumbest right. shit in the world. Like this I'm like, I can't one. even believe. Like you ever seen one of those QVC commercials? Like somebody came and invented like the screen with the magnets. I'm like, shit. I I could have <laughs> thought of that, right? right? Just come up with a good idea, patent it. You know what I'm saying? Put some effort into it. That's Robert hilarious. in the house. Oh, hi. I'm sorry. Shout out to Chopper. Damn. Live on the podcast. We just got a hood up uh, and full uh, lot of them. That's, hey, that's so what I'm saying is nothing should stop you. Get up tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? If you want to get up in the morning, go running. If you want to get fit, go to the gym. If you want to make some money, put a little bit of money aside. Do Put it into something. That, I'll tell you right now. Ethereum, right? Yep. Sheba, yep. right? Sheba. Chainlink. All those, just put a little bit of money in that, and you'll thank me in ten years. Oh, Have a great night. Wait, 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 but before, before wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, before we get there. <laughs> you want to hear no, some wait, more? Wait, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet. The last thing, give us the book. That's all we need. The book. What is your book recommendation to the people that are watching this podcast? Power. Oh God. Power. Okay. Read that book. Power. Okay. All right, I got you. Right. Oh, yep. Got power. You know works. about that? Forty Eight Laws of Power. No, it's called Power. Who wrote Power? Do you? Who's the author oh. on Power? Because we're going to look it up. So every time someone comes on this show and they give, give us a book recommendation, oh. I personally purchase this book and read it. If, oh. I, if it's already not in my collection. I know it. There's very few buddy. financial books that's not in my collection. I know it. I know it. I know it. Right here. It is the 48, 48 Laws, Laws of Power, Power, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I, got uh, you, I got you. Great book. Yeah. I love that it's one. It's by Robert Greene. Yep. I, I knew it. that too. That one's in my collection. And yes, I yeah. have read it. So yeah. I, I, I'm with it. I'm with you. I'm with Rich Dad Poor Dad. Dad. Rich Dad Poor Dad. Yeah. That's oh. the one that got me off my ass. Yeah. So the very first episode of this, that was my first yep. book recommendation was Rich Dad Poor Dad. To be honest with you, I haven't even read that yet. Everybody told shit. me about it. I got to. No, yeah, no, you, now for I sure got you got to read it. I go, I'm going to go get it. Amazon yeah, it. For sure. Yep. For sure. Now, you can even borrow mine. I walk it over. Right. It's dope. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna Ingrid, say tell us your book first, right. and then I want you to jump Wait, back into um, it. As you entrepreneurs out there that, that don't like reading books, Audible, it reads right back to you. Yep. <laughs> Audible. Yep. So that, that's me. That's okay. me. So I'm not a big book pr- right. person, but I love watching you know, um, different shows yeah. um, in, in people that inspire, to motivate, to, inf- um, to influence. So I have to say. Say it. The law of attraction. The law of attraction. Bro, okay. That shit applies. Okay, that's, 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 a, that's a good one. I live by that yeah. book. Okay. That's a good one. No, that's, and that's if you really, really want to start off, start applying those rules nice. to manifest. Manifest to 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 progress to 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 keep continue to have what you want in your life. No, nah, I so, love it. That's All right. A good one. So, anything else? Any last words that you have? Please hit me up on. <laughs> oh no, we, we, that's why. I'm, I'm oh, that's it? oh, you know what? So then, no last words, and I got you. All right. So at this point in, in the in the podcast, you already know exactly what we do, right? Uh, whatever your resources are, we make sure that we put all the guest links in the bio, um, right at the bottom of the screen, so you can get in contact with them personally if you need to. Ingrid, why don't you plug us all into how they can get in contact with you? Your website, your social media, your this, your that, your your bird mail, your fan oh mail, God. whatever you got. My name is you know Ingrid I mean? Morales. My name is Ingrid Morales. You can, my my DNA is 
positive okay. attitude. Nice, <laughs> nice. Um, a typo. Um, you can hit me up on I am Realty Concierge on IG, Facebook, Ingrid Allen Morales. Or you can follow me on LinkedIn. Or the most, the, the great part is www.ingridmorales.com. Follow me, Google me, schedule appointment, get a quote, provide services, whatever you need. Hit Whatever you need, reach out yep. to Ingrid. That's it. All right. <laughs> now, what about you, Amir? Like, I don't talk. have all this dot right. com and this and that, and, uh, you know. But, you know. I mean, and you don't necessarily listen. I, I listen. Can I just give the honeys my phone number? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, yo, yo, so crazy part is Amir is out here singling these streets. So for my female audience that's looking for a dope dude that they want to kick it with, you really want to put your number out there because no, we talking about okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm yo, good. You know what it is? You leave a comment at the bottom of this podcast, and we will make sure that he goes <laughs> through and read dope. your comment. Nah, we're not I'm joking. We're gonna oh, set you, know? you up. We like love connection. You guys tonight. said you want. You guys said you wanted me to joke. Around. We got you. Know, you. We got listen, you. Listen, I got the we, jokes. We gonna listen. All, night long. So all you gotta do is comment Amir, and he's gonna look at your profile. If he's interested, he's gonna hit you up. Yeah. Simple as that. Amir Rossi Instagram, Amir Rossi Facebook. I always post an inspirational stuff. You know, what I mean, if you guys got good ideas, you can bring them to the table, manifest nice. them together. You know, nice. but you gotta be on point. If you come to my table, we all gotta eat. You know what I mean? You gotta be on point. That's, That's it. That's how it is. One family, one place. Hey, love it. Thank you, everybody, for joining us on tonight's episode of the Real Life uh, Life Entrepreneur Podcast. I can't and believe I just stuttered like I didn't know the name of my own. I know, thing. right? But and thank you, Ingrid, for inviting us over yeah. here. Oh, for pleasure. sure. If oh, it wasn't for you, it. I would have never met this guy. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna sure. get along. Sure. Oh, for yes. sure. For sure. The connector. The connector. The ultimate the connector. connector. Cheers. All right. Yep. Listen, guys. Thank you so much for joining for joining our podcast tonight. You guys are amazing. I don't know why I'm stuttering. It's the wildest thing because I, I never make you know nervous. It. I made you nervous. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. I made you nervous. Uh, I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. Hey, listen. <laughs> thank you. So- Listen, you hear my folks talking all this crap. This is what we do. It's, it's nothing but love and vibes, and I appreciate everybody for being here tonight. Good vibes, good vibes. And we'll, we'll get you on the next episode the next time. All right? Peace out. One love. Catch y'all next time.